What's going on my beautiful people? My name is Alex Garfate. Today I have a very special video for you. I'm going to be making gluten-free, vegan, high-protein pancakes. So you're asking, how are they gluten-free? I'm gonna be using oat flour. How am I gonna make them high protein? I got Eden soy milk that has 12 grams in a cup and also Sun Warrior vanilla plant-based protein powder. We're gonna stop the intro right here and go straight into the kitchen. Let's go. All right, so getting started with these gluten-free, vegan, high protein pancakes, you're gonna need some oat flour, some plant milk of your choice. I'm using soy milk here. I got some salt right here baking powder, the protein powder, which is optional unless you guys wanna make them high protein, and then also some ground chia seed mixed with a little bit of sugar in here. So I have my bowl here, and to this bowl, I'm going to add two cups of the oat flour. So I added the first cup, now I'm gonna add the second one. So we got the two cups of flour in here, and then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of baking powder. And then you don't wanna add too much salt, so I'll show you right here in my hand. I'd say probably like a little over a teaspoon. I don't think I'll use all this. And I add the ground chia that's mixed with just a little bit of sugar and then the protein powder. And then now I'm gonna whisk this all together. So you wanna mix up all the ingredients, whisk it together. Now for the plant milk, I don't know exactly the measurement. You just wanna make sure that it's not too thick, but it's also not too runny. So you kinda of have to just pour it and see how it goes. That's probably about a cup there, but we might need a little bit more. Definitely gonna need more. Yeah, so we are gonna need more for sure. Don't make the same mistake I did. Add more liquid in first. Now we're getting that nice batter consistency as you can see. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that is about the perfect consistency. Might need just a little bit more because it is gonna thicken up here as it sits, but we're gonna warm up the pan now and get it ready. So this is the avocado oil I'm using. I really like it, it's only one ingredient. As you can see here, it is avocado oil. No propellants, no other chemicals or anything, just one ingredient, avocado oil, so very simple. Perfect for high heat. All right, so we're warming this pan up here a little bit over medium heat, waiting for it to get warm. I'm gonna spray a little bit of the avocado oil here now. And like I was saying, our batter has thickened up a little bit more. If it does get too thick, you can add a bit more liquid, as in plant milk or water. Just make sure it doesn't get too runny. All right, so I think we're hot enough here, so I got the ladle. I'm gonna scoop in one of these cakes. So as soon as you start seeing bubbles start popping up in the top here, that's when you know it's time to flip it. Also, the serving size that I made is probably a serving for two people. So if you guys are gonna be making this with a partner or for a friend, that would be a perfect amount. Usually, if you're gonna do just for one person, you would use one cup of the oat flour. I'm using two because I am trying to gain a little bit of weight here. And um, also, one usually is never enough. So I think it's almost ready to flip here. I can see that it's starting to rise a bit over here, resembling like the cake. Also, if you try to move it around, that also lets you know that the bottom of the cake is also getting cooked pretty well. I'm starting to see a little bubble form up here. I give it about 20 more seconds. The first one usually is always the, the one that takes kind of the longest, and then after that, the pan is good to go. All right, so here we are gonna try to flip this guy right here. So it could've got a bit more brown, but that still is actually pretty good, so especially for the first one. So I'm gonna start getting my plate ready and also get the second pancake ready to put on the pan. I think this guy's probably about done here. I'm just gonna spray a little bit more. I don't want it to stick. It is a cast iron pan, and if it sticks, it's a mess. Yeah, see the batter is a little too thick. I add a little more uh, liquid, but oat flour is usually a tough one, but hey, it's gluten-free, so a little tougher, but a lot healthier and more protein using oat flour opposed to using regular flour. And here's this pancake, as you can see, nice consistency. I'm not going to break it open, but whoops. Second one should be a bit quicker. We'll give this one about 10, 15 seconds and it should be good to flip. There we go. That's the color of the pancake you want right there. That's a, look how fluffy that is. That is fluff. All right, maybe spread that one a little too thin right there. Try to fill in the gap. So in terms of serving these, you can serve it however you want. With peanut butter, blueberries, dates, bananas. All right, this guy's already smoking on the bottom, so would say it's probably time to flip them. 
not the prettiest one, but hey, it's good. Looked like the screen was a little too bright there, so darkened it up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the details. Got the brown edges here. Don't want it too brown. This one I would say is perfect right here. You can see that. All right, I think this guy's ready to flip. All right. Yeah, perfect. So this last one's gonna be a bit of a struggle here. So I'm gonna try to get uh, trying to get all of it in one. I just scraped the bowl. This one is gonna be a thick pancake for sure. It's already rising quite a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the decision that this thing is ready to flip. Now you can pretty much turn the heat off. I'll start doing the cleanup while this last one cooks. Look at these. Man, oh man. A lot of protein here. Look at that. All right, so we just finished up those pancakes. Those were delicious. I almost had a hard time finishing those pancakes. They are so filling, and like I said before, they are for two people. So if you guys have a partner or a friend, two cups of oat flour is definitely good. If you're gonna just be making them for yourself, I would recommend just using one cup of the oat flour. You don't need two, that was quite a bit. But like I said, trying to make those gains. I was sick last week for about three days, and I was in a caloric deficit for those three days. So I was not eating enough lost a little bit of weight, so trying to put it back on right now, which is why I made two servings. And one serving usually just isn't enough for me. But that's my personal choice. It might be different for you, and that's completely fine. So I typed in all of the ingredients that I used in Chronometer, and those pancakes have over 1,100 calories and over 61 grams of protein. And I only put one cup of the Eden soy milk on the Chronometer, so I only logged one cup. I think I might have used actually two cups, so might be even another 12 on there, probably like 72 grams of protein, but I did not want it to seem too over exaggerated. 60 grams already seems like it's a ton and yeah, it definitely is a lot of protein. So if anyone is worried about getting protein or this or that, I mean, most average adults need about 50 to 60 grams in a day and that was in one meal. So, you know, it goes to show you that it is pretty easy. Granted, I did use some of the uh, Sun Warrior protein, but keep in mind that 32 grams of that protein came from the oat flour by itself. You can also see by looking at the chronometer that we did hit most of our amino acid protein requirements for the day. Are lacking a little bit in the vitamin A and other nutrients, but that's what we have the whole day for to keep eating. It's obviously not gonna be the only meal of the day. But this is just to show you guys that you can make a high protein uh, breakfast meal that is fairly simple to make, not too hard, and it's pretty easy even for an average uh, cook like myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope I'm able to earn your thumbs up. If you guys did like the video, please make sure to subscribe for more content that is similar. I do share my uh, fitness videos. I share uh, recipes just like this one and also just vlogs in general. So stay tuned if you guys wanna see more. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I would love to hear it. I would love to hear new suggestions or anything that you guys are thinking. If you guys like the recipe or if you guys tried it. Also, if you guys do end up trying this recipe, please tag me on Instagram. I'll put my name right here so you guys can see it. I would love to see your recipes and I will definitely repost them as well. And with that being said, I just want to thank you guys again for watching this video and I want to thank you if you made it to the end. And as always, I will see you in the next video. De deuce. I, 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 I